I've had viewers point out that I never showed how to do this. We're going to need files on our desktop from the base game. So I already have mine out here, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. But I have mine right here. We're going to be taking files from the trucks. Um, so this sort of system is what you need. How you do that, because these files are all pulled from the base code of ATS. Um, and if you were to try to go in and do that yourself, well, I'll show you, because I still have this open to ATS. This one. So, what we need, we need stuff from this file, file well, we don't right now, but I have stuff from this file, this file, and all of the truck files. So if you tried to open it just like this, it would say Rinrar doesn't read it. Even though SCS is the same format that we use for mod files. So SCS's base files are actually encrypted. And as I just showed, you can't open them. But we need to be able to get to that for what we're trying to do here. So that's where this ETS2 Studio comes in. And I'll get, put a link to this in the description if I can find it. This is actually an old version of it. Um, I haven't downloaded the new version, but I'll, that's what the link will be to, because the old version doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so you're going to go to SCS File Extractor. You're going to click on Browse. Unless you already just know the string. You can just type it in. And then you're going to go to wherever ATS is installed. So once again, for me, it's Steam... Or, sorry, C Program Files 86. Uh, Steam... And then, once you're in the Steam folder, it's always going to be Steam Apps Common American Truck Simulator. And then, just whatever file you need, you just click on. Um, yeah, I'll just do the Anthem as an example, because I don't think I have that one already. Alright, so that's your input. It knows where it's pulling from. DLC Mac Anthem. Now you just need to tell it where it's going. So, for me, it will be going into desktop stuff, sim mod stuff, data files, trucks. And that path you can figure out all on your own. It can go anywhere on your computer. All this is letting you do is access those files. So, I have a particular place I want to put it. If you just want to put it straight onto your desktop, that's fine. It's entirely up to you. You just click Extract. And it takes a minute. Um, obviously, the bigger the file is, the longer it'll take. If you go to extract the base file, that takes like 20 minutes. So, and I imagine this also depends on the speed of your computer and what else you're doing in the background, or in the foreground. So I'll be back with you when it's done extracting. Alright, so the extracting is done. So if you're going to extract more, then you already have your data path set. You can just go in and choose a different one. I'm not actually going to extract it because I already have it extracted, but you can do that. Though I guess I don't actually have it extracted with the current sounds. I don't think that would matter. Um, and then you just click extract again and it will extract it at the same place if that's where you want it extracted. But that's all I need from that, so that was just a quick tutorial on how to use ETS2 Studio.